Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have an, an unboxing video here. Uh, obviously, this should be a Boulder Odyssey regat, Regatta. Um, it's a chronograph, and this is in a new colorway. So, uh, let's get this open. I've had a few Boulder Odysseys uh, in before, but uh, never the chronograph version. So, it'll be cool to check that out. Um... Maybe I'll we'll just finish opening this off the table here. That looks like we got it there. Pretty sure this watch should be a little bit too big for me, but that's okay. It's a chronograph. I don't mind chronographs being a little bit larger. Chronographs and dive watches, uh, such as the SKX009 here had this guy for I think 12 years now it's kind of the watch one of the watches that started me in the hobby oh, come on tight fitting bubble wrap here so there we go Odyssey Regatta designed by a boulder all right let's get this out of the box here I like these cases, definitely protect the watch. They're just a little bit heavy, so shipping's probably a little more expensive for these, but it'll protect the watch very nicely. It's kind of like a Pelican case, crush proof, waterproof. Oh wow, very cool. So definitely a cool looking watch. So this should have the Valjoux 7750. Looks like I'll uh, get to take all the plastic off. Yep, Valjoux 7750. Uh, let's zoom in. Hopefully you can see that on here. Automatic Valjoux 7750 is uh, owned by Etta. Five, does it say 500 meter water resistance? Wow. Well, come on. Yep, there you go. Very nice. And then there's uh, some kind of yacht or something on here. Feels like nice engraving here. Alright, let's, uh, let's just take the plastic off here. And we'll get it on wrist and we'll close out the video. Oh, interesting. So it's a tachymeter scale, but it is also a rotating uh, bezel. I don't think I've ever, sorry, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, maybe it's not a, this is knots. So must be for yachting. I have no idea. I need to do a little bit more research on this watch. And the dial up, everything up here is uh, very unique. Okay, yeah, so there we're at the running second over here at the nine o'clock position. Then obviously the day and the date. Let's see if I got it wound up enough. Start the chronograph running here. Push and turn. There we go. And these guys, I imagine I have to unscrew them or no? Nope, just for looks. Yeah, those don't unscrew. They look like they do, but they uh, they don't. All right, so let's let that run around. The domed sapphire crystal.
All right, let's see what happens when that ticks over here. Maybe that's the minute counter on the top. No, why would it be on 10? Okay, so I must count down from 10, 10 to zero, I guess. And then you have blue and red, so that must time something for yachting. I think the Rolex Yachtmaster has some kind of a 10 minute countdown scale on it too. The Yachtmaster 2 that is. Alright, let's uh, stop it and reset it. Should snap right back. There we go. So yeah, very nice. Now let me put this on wrist and then we'll close out the video. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this watch. I like the colorway. I like the different uh, subdials. That's a very interesting as well. So I'm not sure how they did that with... M maybe they customized the movement. Yeah, you know, I need to look into it. I'm not sure what that subdial will be for then. So anyway, let me get this on rest and I'll look up all that stuff up and uh, report back out on it in uh, a little bit here. All right, yeah. Let's switch over. Actually, no, I'll show you this side by side with the SKX so you can get an appreciation of the size of this thing. It's got to be, it's got to be well over 16 millimeter thick. Yeah, this thing is uh, definitely a large watch, but this uh, it's kind of the um, the thing that draws me towards these watches is how big they are. Okay, so this is double. I'm sorry, I thought I took this off. There we go. All right, let's get this on wrist and then we'll close out the video. Yeah, <laughs> very, very funny um, looking on my six and a half inch wrist. And uh, definitely a hefty watch. All right, let's zoom out here and then that will conclude the video. Alright, as always, thank you for taking the time and thank you for watching.